Hey everybody, this is the installation video um, how to set up the digital photo booth that you'll be picking up. So uh, two things that you're going to get, you're going to get the bottom piece and then the center piece and the travel bag that has the ring light right here with the, the device in the center of it, the iPad, and the charging cable and also down here are the screws that you're going to use to connect it. It's very simple to, to put it together. Let's just go ahead and skip to that part, put this aside unzip it and this is what it should look like this piece here and also you guys make sure that this is plugged into the USB this is going to keep the device charged so that's super important so let me grab these screws they should either just be in the bag or in another small bag let me put this down yeah so these screws um, could be a little difficult if you're doing it with one hand so if you have someone there to help you to hold this into place while you just focus on the screws you can, um, you can definitely do it by yourself. I've done it plenty of times, so let me just put these in here. All right, so if you wanna come over here, you're gonna to wanna to kinda of tilt it like this. And also you wanna make sure this is plugged into here. This is gonna turn the light on. So we have that. Now we're gonna put this in place like this. A little noisy while we're setting it up so as you can see here these are the two screws first one goes on the top just line this up trying to make sure you get it lined correctly just like that i actually like to do one and then switch over to the other side and get the other screw out of my pocket and then same thing you just line it up Okay. And then it'll tighten up. And then you just do the bottom ones. There you go. And again, you guys are gonna have to make sure after you put them all in to tighten them all up again. Um, just because while you do while you do one, it kind of loosens up the the other screws. But that's no problem. This is just Quick process. This should take you guys no more than I don't know, three minutes to do this part. Okay, so now we have it all in. Just want to go back and tighten them up. These sides are tightened and everything else is tightened. So the next step is to obviously plug it in. Once we plug it in, it's going to turn the center on. It's going to turn, um, give light to the uh, power to the light, and it's also going to turn on the tablet device here. So let's go ahead and do that. If you want to swing around here. So underneath, you're gonna find this little uh, uh, adapter piece here, and then plug this into here like this. And we included some tape. Um, you don't have to use it, but this will just uh, make it a little bit easier after you connect these two. Just put the tape, you don't have to tighten it anything crazy, just like that. And I'm gonna run this to the power, uh, to the outlet. You may need an extension cord just depending on where you're doing it. So let me plug this in. All right, so there you go. So now it's turned on. We have the lights. And then um, if you come to the back, let's just say it's not bright enough for you. Just tilt it up and you see this knob here. If you wanna go to the front, there's a knob on the, uh, you can see it's gonna change the color temperature. And then the one here is gonna actually turn it off and on. I recommend just leaving it on the, uh, as high as you can. Um, but it should be default already as high. So now we have this on. The code to turn on the device is just nothing but five. You just hit five, 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 five. It turns it on. Five, five, five. Okay, so now that we're here, if you picked the package, your package, and you want um, us to provide internet, this will be installed with internet already in it. So you don't have to do this step. But if you want to save the extra, you know, $20, you can use your own Wi-Fi. So let's just run through that first. You're going to want to go to settings. Just like you would on an iPhone, you go to Wi-Fi, wait for the um, internet that you have available, select it, put your password in, and then depending on your connection, um, you'll have the internet. And before I move on, you guys, I just want to say it's very important to make sure the internet connection is great. This whole photo booth is ran off of internet. So if you have your own Wi-Fi, 
and it's not strong, the photos will not get sent out until we connect to strong Wi-Fi. So I always recommend letting us bring our own or just be confident that the photo booth will be in an area where Wi-Fi will be good. So you're gonna press this home button to get out of here and um, you're gonna hit this right here. This is Curator Live. This is the software we're gonna be using. So give it a press. And then this right here are all of the events. These are all events to our customers, uh, parties. This is, uh, you're gonna find yours, right? So let's just say your event is Sarah's 21st birthday. It has the date. Make sure it's yours, you guys, it's very important. You're gonna press this button right here, the cloud with the arrow going down. Make sure you hit that first. What it's gonna do is gonna update it. It's gonna make sure all of the presets and everything we've done on the back end, it's ready to go. Um, you, you have to be connected to internet for, uh, for this to work too. So after it's loaded, you'll see a little play button here. Right here, you see next to the event name. We're gonna press it. And then you have these options, just do photo booth. That's the first one. Make sure you select it. Um, let's just say you didn't do it correctly. You need to go back and change it. Um, just hit this home button twice and then slide it up and then reselect curator. That's just if you need to exit, but let's go back to it. So right here, you'll see you, this, is the, this is what your guests are gonna see. You have the photo option, which is included in the base package, 199, but if you want the other features, boomerang gif, and then the video feature, that is an additional fee but let's just go over the photo one. So I'm gonna turn the photo booth around like this. All right. So I know a lot of people want the photo booth to be further back from the backdrop. Um, so let's say if you, you know, rented out one of our backdrops, the physical backdrop, let's just say it'd be right here. Four feet is the best. The further you have the backdrop, I'm sorry, the further you have the photo booth from the backdrop, the less light which is gonna be on the photo. So four feet, this is perfect distance. The camera is a wide angle camera. Um, and uh, come here real quick. So this customer opted in, we're including now for our special to do the magic green screen. So I don't know if you can see here, this is the template that we made, basic. It's included in the package. And the magic green screen, it's a red fabric that is behind me on the device. So if you turn it around just to make, it's blue. So. The whole point of it is to put whatever is behind your guest to have it to the file that we set. So this is a digital experience. It's a digital backdrop. And if you come around again, you have the, the digital props. I clicked at the sombrero. So it's like this. So it'll follow me and it'll be in the photo. And if I want to make it black and white, guess will be black and white. But let's just go ahead and skip these, right? I'm going to take them off. It's going to count down. Perfect. From here, we can text, email, and then it'll generate the link, but let's just go ahead and do it. I'm gonna put my phone number in. Five, hit send. All right, and then depending on the internet, it should be about 10 to 15 seconds. You know, and we're done. You can hit done. It brings you back to the home screen. All right, there we go. So now we hit the link right here. It says, enjoy your photo from our company with the link. Click that. And there we go. There's the photo. You can access the gallery from, from there if you'd like, or you can upload to social media or do a direct download and you have it to your phone. So now this is the photo booth set up. Um, once you get it up, um, there's one thing that you do need to do. Come here real quick. So we have something called guided access. After you, you have all of this set up and the booth is ready to go, um, just hit this one, two, three, the home button. Sorry, one, two, three, really quick. You're gonna hit see guided access. You're gonna hit start. And what that does is it locks the screen. So now remember I said, if you wanna exit it, one, two, you can't. This is so your guests don't accidentally exit the software and to get out of that, after your event, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna click it three times, one, two, three, and then again, guys, passcode for everything is five. Five across, then you hit end, you see that in the corner, end, and now it's off. You click it twice, this is after your event, just a reminder, one, two, you're gonna swipe up, you can swipe that up too, then you're gonna go to the settings, you're going to general, shut down. 
slide it. That's gonna turn the device off. Then you just go down here, take the tape off, unplug it, put, um, then you just do the reverse of the setup right here, you guys. So let's just assume the slide is turned off. You take the screws off, take the screws off, make sure the ring light right here is unplugged. Then you take the light, you put it back in the bag with the screws and with the charging cable, and then you're ready to return the photo booth. So it shouldn't take you guys any longer than 10 minutes to set up. If you guys have any um, questions, feel free to send us a text message, 909-859-4415. And again, thank you guys for hiring us for your event. Uh, we appreciate it. Thank you.